Hi, this is Chris here for Frost Productions, and today I'm going to be doing a review of my Razer ProClick mobile mouse. Um, it's right here, as you can see. Um, I'm just going to start by giving you sort of a tour of it. So, right here we have the left click button, the right click button, the scroll wheel, and the scroll wheel also clicks. So that's, um, you have three buttons in total and the scroll wheel. Um, that's not a whole lot of buttons, but it is a mobile mouse, and... I don't use it as a mobile mouse, but uh, that's enough buttons for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the side here. It's got a pretty big arc to it. It's kind of it looks kind of it looks a lot bulkier than it is, but it's really not bulky at all. It has a really nice feeling in your hand. Um, here's the bottom here, the on-off switch, and the uh, you hold that to pair it. And the other side, and this. Um, put it in perspective. Let me just put my hand on it for you. Kind of a small mouse. Um, the material at the top here is kind of like a like a soft plastic rubbery feeling. Um, it's got a lot of nice features. It's got this like light here that lights up. It kind of pulsates when it's turned on, as you can see. Um, and you're probably wondering, well, it doesn't you know doesn't that eat up battery? Well, the answer is no. I've had this mouse for I don't know probably around three months, and it has been amazing. Um, I haven't had to change the batteries once. It comes with batteries. And uh, it's weird because they've actually lasted me um, quite a while. And I leave this mouse on 24-7. I use it as a desktop mouse, not a mobile mouse. Um, let's see. The only downside I see with this mouse, you know, for some people, might be it doesn't have as many buttons as they might be used to. It's a little bit smaller um, than a lot of mouse mice out there, but it's... Mm, it's good for me. Uh, there's not really much more to say about a mouse. Uh, other than that, it's been great. Uh, I think it cost 50 or $60. I bought it at the Apple Store. Oh, and another con of it is, I don't know if this is OS 10 or if this is um, the mouse, but whenever I restart my computer, I always either have to repair it or whatever. It just takes a second to work because it, it is Bluetooth. So, um, Yeah, that's about it. Um, while I'm on the subject, just to compare it to the Mighty, Mighty Mouse. Um, if, if I had the choice, I would definitely choose this over the Mighty Mouse because I've had three Mighty Mouse and they've... Mm, Mighty Mouse or Mighty Mice, whatever. And they've all... Um, they've all not really completely broken, but they've pretty much all broken. Like, within two weeks of getting every single one of them, the scroll wall has stopped working. And that's really annoying. I mean, I need I use the scroll wheel or the scroll ball a lot, so that's kind of a problem. Um, they're just, I don't know, it doesn't, they jump around a lot, the Mighty Mice, and, uh, they're just not nearly as nice as this mouse. This mouse is really great, it's really accurate. Um, originally I was going to get the Razer Death Adder, uh, gaming mouse, even though I don't game, I just thought it was kind of cool, but I didn't, uh, but I decided against it and got this one instead. Um, oh yeah, one more thing I want to just touch base on. It's actually got a really nice design. If you if you can see here, uh, right behind the scroll ball, right in this little groove here, it's got a nice little groove for your finger to rest in, and it's just the overall like arc of the mouse is just really nice. So um, that about does it for this review. Um, you know, I'll probably be reviewing more stuff in the future. Just so yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.